Somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Maybe so, but the smoke's on you, laddie. You mean the jerk's on me, don't ya? <laughs> Please stop that. <laughs> like I said, the smoke's on you. I've infiltrated the bad guy's base. Now I need to find my informant. He has vital information that I must get back to Spy Corps. Monkey Penny said he would be hidden in here right in front of my face. I don't normally look in other people's medicine cabinets, but I am a spy after all, and I'm on a mission. Aha! Roger Bohr! Spy Corps King of Covert Capers! Yes, and I'm very good at hiding, too. I hope you've got the cure for the common criminal in there for me. Here, take this lipstick. Sorry, that's not my shade. I'm an autumn. It's not really lipstick, Spy Fox. There's a top secret message hidden in it. You need to get that to Spy Corps on the double. On the double, eh? It must be important. I certainly hope so. One more thing, Spy Fox. Quack sent this for your getaway. It's a rocket-powered origami skateboard. The directions are on it. Good luck. I'm out of here. It's moving counterclockwise. We must be in the northern hemisphere. I can't get out through that air shaft. Wow, this place is crawling with bad guys. I'm going to need some serious spy action to get through them all. That's where I keep my spy. Fun. Radioactive trash collector. I refuse to believe that playing this game is a waste of time. Ha 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 
I need to fold together this rocket-powered origami skateboard soon. Spycore is waiting for the lipstick message. To make the rocket-powered origami skateboard, I need to follow the folding order of the different colors on those instructions. I learned this one in Spycrafts 101, but it's not what I need right now. Correct flaps. Wrong order, perhaps. This would look great on my knick-knack shelf, but it's not going to help me escape. Hmm. Correct flaps. Wrong order, perhaps. Neat. If I do say so myself, but it is definitely not a rocket-powered skateboard. Correct flaps. Wrong order for That did it. Now I'm rocket powered and ready for action. A giant aerosol hairspray can has been spotted orbiting the planet, and it has unleashed a seemingly endless spray of aerosol directly at the ozone layer. At this rate, that aerosol can will destroy the ozone in a matter of hours. Chief, I retrieved the message you sent me after. It's in the form of a lipstick container. The message is probably chemically infused on the outer casing so small we'll need the super spy magnifying glass to see it. 
Did you look inside the lipstick container, Spy Fox? Incredible! Someone put a message inside the lipstick. Ingenious in its simplicity. What does it say, Spy Fox? Please help me. Signed, Plato Pushpin. Of course! Plato Pushpin is the top expert in cosmetic rocketry. He must have information that can help us stop this diabolical orbiting ozone eraser. He was last known to be working for reigning cosmetics queen Poodles Galore. Spy Fox, you need to go to Poodles Cosmetic Factory and talk to Plato Pushpin. I'm on my way. I assume Monkey Penny and Quack have already set up Mobile Command Center there. Of course. Here is the number of the song you need to play to get you in. Good luck, Spy Fox. Luck has nothing to do with it. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Now I'm really on a roll. So, this must be where Poodles Galore has her factory. The first order of business is to rendezvous with Quack and Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. L4. That's the number of the song I need to play to get into Mobile Command. Donuts. It says, bowl. It says, the pro shop. How's it going, sport? Do I know you? How do you know my name? It was a lucky guess, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Did you know that a crude form of bowling can be traced all the way back to 3200 BC in Egypt? My, aren't you a fountain of trivia? What's the best way to pick up a spare from a 710 split? Nail one of the pins in the side and cross your fingers. I see. Cross your fingers. What a cool jukebox! Go, Nico. 
got the guy next to you. Sometimes the next, they don't let you swim on through. So if your pal gets cooked up and goes by fine, just laugh it off. Learn to live. Sure enough, the dogfish he had his day. I learned to heed his words with every heave and every sigh. Just laugh it off, learn to live.
Faces on the floor, my dog, you just walk out the door. My boss, he called and said, you're fired. I guess my life's got some silly requires. I've been looking for clues all over the place. But I can't seem to find any trace of my decoder ring and gadgets, too. I wish I could. It's got me so blue. My spy comes broken, it just won't squawk. My parrot's mute, he just won't talk. My heart's aching, I'm so dog tired. Guess my life's got some assembly required. Oh, chase from the bad guys, you my face is blue. I just can't catch them, I'll never be through. I've been running in place for such a long time. Won't you please come on and help me solve this crime?
Now that's music! Floating high above the bowling alley is Mobcom Spy Corps Mobile Command Center. You've really taken the Mobile Command Center to new heights, Monkey Penny. Glad you could drop up, Spy Fox. We believe Plato Pushpin, the cosmetic rocket scientist, has been abducted by Poodles Galore. He's the only person with the knowledge to stop this orbiting aerosol can. But be careful, this Poodles Galore is a nasty character. She didn't get to the top of the cosmetics world by using a lot of sugar and spice. Be sure to check out the spy vending machine too, Spy Fox. I've stocked it with a plethora of useful gadgets. And don't forget that you can call me anytime on your spy watch for additional information. Thanks for the brief debriefing. The Spy Toaster. What's the spy action on this gadget, Quack? You can use this spring-loaded gadget to pop yourself up to 20 feet into the air. Just hop into the dual foot slots, engage the timer, and off you go. Pop goes the spot. Ingenious, Quack. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. The spy ear. That sounds interesting. How does it work, Professor Quack? This ultrasonic eustachian device provides auditory enhancement through ground silica. Uh, it allows you to hear conversations behind solid glass, Spy Fox. That's quite an earful, Quack. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. The Spy Bowling Ball. How does this gadget work, Quack? And don't spare any details. Say you need to get a secret message, or something that is attached to a normal bowling pin. You simply toss the bowling ball towards your target, and it will scoop up the pin and return it right to you. Brilliant, Quack! Another strike! These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. The Spy Pearl Detector. What does this gadget do, Professor Quack? Use it on a bed of oysters to find a pearl. The light will flash faster and faster as you get closer to the pearl. Great! There's nothing worse than muscling a bunch of mollusks for one little pearl. Hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste. The canned laughter. How does this gadget work, Quack? Just pop the top and toss. The sound of laughter will be everywhere. It could be very distracting. I guess you could say it creates a laugh riot, eh, Quack? Yes, I guess you could say that. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. The Spy Mint. I'm sure this does more than fresh and breath. It's really a glow-in-the-dark spy mint that will light up dark rooms. You simply bite into the mint to ignite it. Not only is it minty fresh, but it works underwater as well. An underwater glow-in-the-dark fresh maker. Ingenious, Quack! These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. The Sticky Stun Bun. How does this caramel confection work, Quack? You simply toss the caramel-coated spy gadget into a crowd, then get away fast. When the stun bun goes off, it will stun everyone within 10 feet, leaving them dazed and confused for weeks. Quack, that is by far your most stunning gadget yet. Hmm. Earthy with a bit of a woody aftertaste. The Duck Blind. What's the insight on this gadget, Professor Quack? You simply put the Duck Blind on like a hat, and it renders you invisible to all ducks. These blueprints provide me with all the fiber I need in my diet. 
the grappling granny. What's the deal on this doll, Quack? This doll will allow you to swing over dangerous obstacles. Just give the doll a quick squeeze in the middle and watch as its teeth shoot out of its head, firmly clamping onto anything made of wood. Well, I'm certainly not above playing with dolls. Not if the mission requires it, that is. These blueprints are rich in vitamins and minerals. The Spy Rust Buster. What's the breaking news on this gadget, Quack? This gadget comes in a handy one-use spray can. Just spray the corrosive formula onto any metal and watch it turn brittle with rust and fall apart. Bust with rust. Good one, Professor Quack. I shouldn't have had lunch before this mission. It would make this mission much easier if I could take the super spy mess into space to deal with this evil orbiting arsenal of aerosol. Sorry, Spy Fox. You're going to have to find another way to deal with this disaster. The MESS is a mess, and it's going to take me a while to fix it. Who is it I'm looking for again? Play-Doh Pushpin. Oh, yes. Play-Doh Pushpin. Thanks, Monkey Penny. That's the third ugliest bowling pin I've ever seen. Wait a minute. That's not a bowling pin at all. It's Plato Pushpin, the renowned expert in cosmetic rocketry. It looks like he's about to get bowled over. I've got to save him somehow. Excuse me, aren't you poodles galore? That is right. Are you the fourth member of our bowling team? Eh, uh, yes. Yes, I am. Where is your bowling shirt? You must have a proper bowling shirt. How uncivilized. I'll get right to it. There's something fishy going on here and it's not my deodorant. Can I have that interestingly colored bowling shirt, Sport? Yeah, sure. It's just your color. It's on the house today. One per customer trades welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. Can I have that bowling shirt? 
Sure, but you have to trade back the other bowling shirt. I'd like to exchange this bowling shirt for that other one. It complements my skin tone better. It's a bowling shirt. I don't think it's made to complement anything. Have a nice day. Thank you. I think I'd rather have that bowling shirt with the pink on it. They all have pink on them, pal. Have a nice day. Thank you. I can use this machine to make a name patch. This bowling shirt fits perfectly into the free patch machine. How handy. That patch machine works great. I can insert a shirt and change the name anytime I want. Here's what Now this is a fashion statement and it's saying hey look at me I'm a bowler You are finally ready to bowl It is about time darling Yes but I'm a bit rusty Do you mind if I warm up a bit Oh for goodness sake All right choose your bowling ball but warm up quickly My guest is simply Dying to watch me bowl. Sorry about this pushpin, but I don't want to blow my cover. Are you warmed up yet, darling? I do want to get on with it. Not just yet. I still have a few kinks to work out. Work them out quickly. I have some sticky business to attend to. I think it's best to only wear bowling shirts when I'm in a bowling alley. Excuse me, Ms. Galore, but I'm ready for some serious 10-pin action. Shall we bowl? Finally! You go first. I want to savor this moment. Well, that was fun. Time to split. Pushpin! He is gone! Ace! Champ! He must have Pushpin! Don't let him get away! Oh, he got away! <laughs> 
No matter. It is too late now. Champ, Ace, back to the factory. It's time to really heat the place. Thank goodness you got my message. I thought Miss Galore was going to make a pen pin split out of me. She caught me before I could get the final ingredient for my congeal pill. It's the only thing that can stop her now. Sounds like a bitter pill to swallow. Just tell me what you need. I still need an unchewed wad of chickle. Chickle is a gummy substance that comes from the jungle. One secret donut XY. A freshwater pearl farmed only in the lake. And the final item I need is the aerosol particle diameter number, or APD for short, from outside the orbiting aerosol can itself. The APD, eh? How am I going to get that with a super spy mess in a mess? Aha! Ow! Poodles has a rocket ship locked in her factory. Perhaps you could borrow it. Here is my key card to the factory. I'm on it like a cheap suit. I'll get these final ingredients for you, Pushpin, or at least get a bad sunburn trying. I'll have the spy car fixed lickety split. The four destinations you need are programmed into the spy car computer. I'll leave it for you in the street below. Thanks, Quack. It will be good to have my spy wheels back. Quack must have fixed the Trans-Google gear. Now I'll be able to travel across the globe spy style. My spy watch is beeping. Monkey Penny must have some important information for me. Please stand by. What's the latest news, Monkey Penny? We've placed Agent Roger Bohr inside Poodle's cosmetics factory to gather information. He left here wearing a darling red wig. That is a darling red wig. Thanks, Monkey Penny. I'll keep an eye out for him. Keep us posted, Spy Fox. Monkey Penny out. Hello, my name is Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a secret mission to save... My name is Cookie! I'm a Cookie Scout! You know, Cookie, I remember back when I was a Spy Scout selling decoder rings this isn't going to be one of those back in my day a cheeseburger was a nickel stories, is it? Er, uh, no, of course not. Never mind. That's my new soup. This spy car is a miracle of modern spy technology. Quack programmed it with all the destinations I need. With the push of a button, I'm off. Ah, the jungle. An ancient and complex ecosystem teeming with diverse life. Home to more than half of the world's plant and animal species. And it's really hot here too. <laughs> That's quicksand. If I'm going to get to the other side, I'm going to have to go over it, not through it. All right, Granny, do your stuff. Yeah. 
That's a lovely bunch of coconuts you have there. Thank you. I've grown quite fond of the flavor of coconuts since I've been here at the jungle. Hello. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm Trudy Fruit. I'm here studying chickle for my PhD in gummatology. But some pink clad pranksters locked all of the chickle inside Chickle P2. There must be some way to get in. The only way in is to set the hieroglyph code correctly and use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu on the keyhole. Set the hieroglyph code correctly and use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. Got it. With this talk balloon, I can gather information about the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. Do you have any idea where I might find the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu? I overheard those pink pranksters say they were going to take it to their contact in the import business. Someone in the import business, eh? Those symbols look just like the ones on the hieroglyph code on the front of Chickle Peak Chu. Hello there. The name's Fox. Spy Fox. What are you doing up here? I'm Stanley Ellington Seagull, intrepid adventurer. I'm on safari. A safari, hmm? How exciting. That's a neat pith helmet. Tool of the trade. It's standard attire for a proper safari. Do you go on many safaris? You could say that I'm on a permanent safari. I need to figure out this hieroglyphic code to get into Chickle Pichu. I cracked the code! Now I need to use the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu on the keyhole. Then I can get in there and get that chickle. Ah, the lake. The freshwater pearl farm must be on that platform out in the middle. Avast, matey! I need a ride out to the Pearl Farm! The fate of the world depends on it! Haven't caught a single fish all day! Not even a nibble! He didn't understand a word I said. 
I need something to project my voice with so he can hear me better. This is some freaky chef. Can I help you? Eh, just looking, but thanks for asking. How much for the jar of pickles? I don't sell pickles. I eat them. What sort of products do you sell here? I don't sell anything! Wow, that's gotta be bad for business. You don't have any gum, do you? Why do you ask that? Well, I feel like chewing gum, but never mind. What kind of merchandise do you specialize in? Exotic imports and, you know, stuff. What sort of products do you sell here? I don't sell anything! Wow, that's gotta be bad for business. I'm looking for the ancient amulet of Chickle Pichu. You don't happen to have it here, do you? Dixie's flaming lip gloss. Hmm, that sounds like some kind of code phrase. My spy watch is beeping. I'd better answer it. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. What is it, Monkey Penny? Agent Pins has been dispatched to the desert. She has intercepted a useful gadget from Poodle's cosmetic factory for you. I can't quite make her out. Right, she's in disguise. Monkey Penny out. The Painted Desert. Such landscapes have inspired many artists, such as Georgia O'Keeffe and George Harriman. And sharp pins. Ah! It must be 120 degrees in this cactus disguise. Keep your cool, pins. What hot tip do you have for me today? Spycor intercepted this gadget from one of Poodle Salor's goons. It's a digital makeup compact. We think it's used for deciphering code phrases. Press the eye shade button and it will display the proper counterphrase. Ingenious! And it has all the latest designer colors, too. Good luck, Spy Fox. I'm out of here. Plan B. It's the Cosmetic Counter Code Phrase Compact. Minty Green Loot Cream. Pressing that button accessed a counter blue powdered pussycat shadow. Corinthian Wrinkles Be Gone Cream. Salt and Pepper Sprinkle Cream. Pink Hoochie Poochie Shadow. Make a Dish Foundation. Dixie's Flaming Lip Gloss. That accessed the Counter Code Phrase. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Here's the amulet. Be careful it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. 
Don't worry, I'll carry it in my right hand. Remember, you'll need the hieroglyph code as well as the amulet to get into Chicklebeachu. Right. Thank you. It's been very interesting talking to you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. I think I might be getting tropical fever. <laughs> the amulet worked. I'm in there like swimwear. No missing ancient amulet or mythic hieroglyph code can keep this spy out for long. Now to find that chickle. Chopped liver, I'm not. To stay that way, I'll have to find a better way to bust through those blades. I don't see anything I need to bust with rust there. Those bad blades look like they could serve me up sushi style. Sliced, diced, and wrapped in rice. I need a way to bust through them. Those blades may be sharp, but I've got the edge. Have a dose of Quack's Rust Buster, you bad blades. Quack's instant oxidizer literally busted those blades with rust. I found the chickle. It appears to be penned in by that gate. Well, with a little creative problem solving, I'll have that chickle in no time. If this wasn't a spy toaster, I would never be placing anything other than a piece of bread into it. But it is a spy toaster, and I am a spy, so here goes. At last! I have my piece of chickle! It takes more than an ancient civilization to outwit spy... Uh-oh! That was close, but I got out of that pickle with the chickle. Chew on that, poodles galore!
Meanwhile, orbiting high above the Earth, Poodle's Galore's aerosol onslaught continues. In only a matter of hours, my special blend of aerosol will have completely destroyed the ozone. The sun will then beat relentlessly down upon the Earth. All the little darlings will scream for my sunscreen! Poodle's brand SPF 2001! Then I will not only be the queen of cosmetics, but... The undisputed ruler of the world! <laughs> oh, I'm starting to shine. What are you going to do after you get your PhD? I have a research position lined up with the Biglet Chewy Mint Corporation. I have an idea of how to improve the elasticity of their yubba dubba bubble gum. The bigger the bubble, the better, I always say. So, you're studying to become a gummatologist, eh? That's right. I'm doing my thesis on chicle viscosity and flavor retention. Fascinating. What made you decide to go into the field of gummatology, Trudy? I'm fascinated by all the gum flavor possibilities. I want to start my own brand of meat-flavored gum. Trudy's Double Meat Gum, I'd call it. Gummy meat goodness, eh? How does this pearl detector work again, Professor? How does the refreshing... How does the sticky... Play-Doh Pushpin's keycard worked like a charm. Er, a key, I mean. I'm in the cosmetics factory. I have two objectives in here. One, borrow Poodle's rocket ship. And two, find the informant Roger Bohr. Drop it all out and eat cassabas. Wham! <laughs> I can't hear what those guards are saying. I need some additional hearing aid.
Well, this room is head and shoulders above the rest. It must be some kind of makeup test room. Bye, Fox. Over here. Eh, uh, who said that? Over here. The redhead. Roger Bohr. Wow, you had me wigged out there for a second. Sorry. There's been a lot of hairy stuff going on around here. If you need any info about Poodle's Cosmetic Factory, just ask. Roger, Roger. You know, that wig is actually very becoming on you, Roger. Thanks, Fox. I bet you say that to all your informants. Factory workers come by daily to change it. Yesterday's wig was a poodle cut, all fluff and puff. Have you seen anything interesting while you've been staked out here, Roger? Yeah, a lot of hairy deals going on. Anything you need to know about Poodle's factory, you just ask. That's... So then he just dropped the entire load of cassavas. Wham! <laughs> the spy ear is working. Those guards are coming through loud and clear. Miss Galorisher comes up with wacky combinations for the safe containing the key to the rocket ship. Whoever heard of luxurious shower powder as a combination for a safe? Whatever happened to good old numbers? <laughs> the combination to the safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I'm going to need that key if I'm going to borrow that rocket. I'd better write it down. Oops, I'm going to get an earful from Quack about that. Volunteers are needed to test my new lima bean lip balm. Non-volunteers, we proceed out the front gate. Poodles galore here. What, whoever added the glue to the mascara recipe, please report to the fingernails on chuckboard room. This is Poodles galore. A day without sunscreen SPF 2001 is like a day with way too much sunshine. Attention, if anyone finds the vanishing cream, please let me know. This is Poodles galore. Remember. Being evil doesn't mean you can't be beautiful, too. Poodles galore here. All Spy Corps visitors should check in with the guards at the front desk. This is Poodles galore. Don't forget, Tuesday is League Bowling Night. Poodles galore here. A position has just opened up in our Exploding Facials Division. Attention! A reminder that the white zone is for loading and unloading of passengers only. This is Poodles galore. A day without sunscreen SPF 2001 is like a day with way too much sunshine. Poodles galore here. All Spy Corps visitors should check in with the guards at the front desk. How diabolical! That device is some sort of hair security scanner. I'm going to have to get an appropriate hair of the day wig disguise if I'm going to get past this crazy contraption. I can use this talk balloon to gather information about the hair of the day. I don't suppose you would know what the hair of the day is. The hair of the day is a yellow bouffant, accented with an old-style rake accessory. Thanks for the heads up, Roger. Roger, could you tell me again what the hair of the day is? Of course. The hair of the day is a yellow bouffant, accented with an old-style rake accessory. Sounds more like the hair of yesterday to me. Thanks for the information, Roger. Would you mind repeating what the hair of the day is? 
Sure, Spy Fox. The hair of the day is a yellow bouffant, accented with an old-style rake accessory. Got it. Thanks for the hairy information. Wow, this machine looks like some sort of scalp enhancement device, otherwise known as a wig making machine. That screen shows the different accessories I can add to my wig. That's a birdcage accessory. That's a rake accessory. That screen shows the different styles of wigs this wigged out machine can make. That's a mullet style wig. That's a bouffant style wig. That's a pompadour style wig. That's a bouffant style wig. Those buttons change the wig color. Four fashion colors to choose from. I bet this wig will look nice on me. This wig should make a good disguise. I'll keep it safe until I need it. Talk about Harry Scary. My wig disguise got me past that Harry scanner. I'll leave it here so I can get back out. I hope Quack's sticky stun bun has more than flower power in it. <laughs> the sticky stun bun worked. Quack's caramel coated confection has left those guards stuck in their tracks. It's the safe containing the key to Poodle's rocket ship. I just need to enter the correct luxurious shower powder. It's the combination That crazy combination worked. I've got the key to Poodle's rocket ship. No safe is safe with this spy around. We have liftoff! The key worked! I'm sure Poodles will be mad that I borrowed her rocket, but it's her own fault for being evil. Sweet sabotage! Look at the size of that aerosol abomination! I've got to stop it before it depletes the ozone layer and everyone gets a nasty sunburn! 
APD. That must stand for aerosol particle diameter. Pushpin needs that number for his congeal pill. I'll just copy it onto a compact disc for safekeeping. I've got to stop that ozone eradicator. Wait to see the look on Poodle's face when she sees her aerosol congeal into a harmless mess. I certainly don't feel pretty in this. I think I'll leave this wig here for safekeeping. My name's Fox, Spy Fox. I'm on a mission to save the world. Well, good for you. My name's Pia the Donut. I'm only working here until my acting career takes off. Interesting. Well, good luck to you, Pia. Or as they say in the biz, break a leg. Thank you. When did you know you wanted to be an actor? <gasps> Ever since I saw Nellie Longbottom in Troop Leader Beverly Hills. <gasps> she was brilliant. Do you prefer acting on stage or screen? Definitely on screen. You see, I want to be a movie star, not just an actor. Have you done any professional acting? Oh, sure. I played a fairy in the hit The Easter Bunny Conquers the Curse of the Fairy Creatures from the Planet Neptune. May I have a secret donut XY, please? The fate of the world depends on that donut. Oh my, that sounds important. But our ex-donut baker, Bobby Llama, is the only person with the recipe. And he quit to get in touch with his inner donut. I've got to have that donut. Can you make the donut if I find the recipe? With the fate of the world resting on it, of course I can. I can use this talk balloon to gather information on the whereabouts of the ex-donut baker, Bobby Llama. Things seem pretty quiet tonight, don't they, officer? I'll say. No riots, no hooligans, not even a jaywalker. Nothing to do but hang out at the donut shop. Not much going on tonight, is there, officer? <laughs> Pia, do you know where I can find Bobby Llama? The last thing he told me was that he was going to the desert to get in touch with his inner donut. Thanks, Pia. You're very helpful. Do you know where I could find Bobby Llama? He was that guy who made the secret donut XY, isn't he? That was a good donut. Yes, do you know where he went? He went off to the desert. If you ask me, he went loony. Tell me again how the duck blind.
Wow, this is quite a bee farm. It's called an apiary, honey. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Have we met before? I think I met you at the World's Fair. Or it could have been on the Greek Isle of Acidophilus. My name's B. B Bear. Is there anything I can get you, honey? Say, for instance, honey? Just let me know. Thanks, B. I will. Do you like being a beekeeper, B? I prefer the term apiarist. I love working here. I get all the honey I want and every other Sunday off. What made you start up an apiary, B? A rampaging robot dog stomped on my relaxation station. So I decided to move on to my one true love, honey. Honey. Didn't you used to work in that little Greek cantina on the island of Acidophilus? That's right. I left when Mr. Big Pig bought it out and changed it into a pachinko parlor. Do you like being a beekeeper, Bee? I prefer the term apiarist. I love working here. I get all the honey I want and every other Sunday off. You must really like honey. Are you kidding? I love honey and anything honey flavored. You know what I mean, honey? I think I get your drift, Bee. You sure do have a lot of honey. I love honey, and anything honey flavored. Can I borrow your beekeeper hat? Why do you want to borrow my beekeeper hat? You never know when a beekeeper disguise might come in handy. Well, I don't know. I don't want to be a party to any malicious mischief. Not to worry. I'm a certified good guy spy and will use it only in the process of saving the world. Okay, if it'll help save the world. Here you go. Thanks, Bee. Hold on there, you! Only beekeepers tend to their bees can go into the prickly pear ranch. How do you know I'm not a beekeeper? If you were, you would know that all beekeepers must wear their beekeeper hats. You mean I'm not wearing it? How silly of me. I'm going to have to wear a beekeeper hat to get into the prickly pear ranch. Bee's beekeeper hat fits perfectly. That guard was no match for my clever beekeeper disguise. <coughs> Isn't sitting on those cactus a little tough on the tush? Not for one who has found the donut hole of their existence, such as I. Do you know what time it is? Look through the center of the donut and see past the delusion of joy and fried dough. I'll take that as a no. Don't all those bees buzzing around make you nervous? I see only sprinkles upon the crowd of the universe, Pilgrim. Excuse me, are you Bobby Lama, the ex-donut baker? I am he. Have you come seeking the inner peace in the donut of your soul? 
Not really. I've come seeking the recipe to Secret Donut XY. I see. Here, you may have it, Pilgrim. I have since forsaken the comforts of cream-filled fried dough with sprinkle. Thank you. I'm sure this donut recipe will bring inner peace to Poodle's heart. I found the recipe for Secret Donut XY. Well, let's have a look-see. Ah, oh, nuts! It's written in some kind of picture code. You'll have to decode this before I can make you a Secret Donut XY. I'll leave it here on the counter for you. Hmm, it looks like I'm going to need to use some counterintelligence to break this culinary code. Bobby Llama wrote his donut recipe in some kind of picture code. I'm sure it will be no match for my keen spy intellect. I did it! I've cracked the culinary code for Secret Donut XY. It really was no match for a super spy such as myself. Uh -huh. Let me have a look at it. Yes, yes, not too difficult. Okay, not a problem. You just need to bring me some fresh tapioca from the heart of the jungle. Fresh tapioca? Uh-huh, from the jungle. Right, fresh tapioca from the jungle. Using this talk balloon will help me gather information about finding tapioca for Secret Donut XY. The jungle has been the backdrop for many Hollywood movies. Do you know where I can find some fresh tapioca? I should say so, old bean. It's the only thing I found to eat in this dreadful jungle. 
Morning, noon, and night, it's tapioca, tapioca, tapioca. It's simply ghastly. I'd give the Queen's royal jewels for a salami sprinkles donut. Well, that sounds like a very interesting trade, but how about some tapioca for the donut instead? For a salami sprinkles donut, you can have the whole bag of tapioca. I'd like a salami sprinkles donut, please. The fate of my stomach may depend on that donut. One fresh hot donut on its way. Here you are, one tasty fried donut. Mmm, I love that kind of donut. That is one hungry civil servant. I need to get him thinking about something other than his stomach. This should create some excitement for our boy in blue. I'd better toss it outside. I don't want to disturb the donut maker. <laughs> What's that? Why, officer, I do believe some hooligans have started a laugh riot out in the street. Hooligans? Laugh riot? Well, I'll just see about that. <laughs> All right, you hooligans, come on out. You can't hide from me forever. I hated having to do that. We are on the same side and all, but I'm a spy and I'm on a top secret mission to save the world. I'd like a salami sprinkles donut, please. The fate of my stomach may depend on that donut. That's my cue to bake donuts! <laughs> One fresh hot donut up! Thanks, Pia. I'll just save this for later. The jungle has been the backdrop for many Hollywood movies. Here you are, Stanley. One delicious, if not nutritious, salami sprinkles donut. Jolly good. That hit the spot. Here you are, then. One bag of the freshest tapioca you'll ever find. Thanks, Stanley. Tasty tapioca, a key ingredient to success. Here you are, Pia. Fresh tapioca straight from the jungle. Can you make me a secret donut XY now? Well, I'll be fresh tapioca. 
One Secret Donut XY coming up! There you are, Mr. Fox! One fresh hot Secret Donut XY! Enjoy! Thanks, Pia. This donut could be the key to saving the entire planet. Oh my gosh! Planet Broadway is in danger? Eh, no. Planet Earth. Oh! Hmm... I was destined to be the reigning Baroness of Beauty! Even as a child, I knew how to accessorize! As a teenager, I started experimenting with making my own blush and sunscreen! All of which were far superior to the major brand. And from there, Poodles could not be stopped in her rise to the top of the cosmetics world. She was there to take advantage of every major cosmetic catastrophe. The compact crash of 97. The Bay of Polish in 98. But now she has gone too far. What will happen when Poodle's arsenal of aerosol breaks through the ozone layer? Everyone will either baste themselves with my SPF 2001 sunscreen or broil like lobsters. As they say, live and let fry. It's the ingredient list for Pushpin's congeal pin. <coughs> How does the refreshing spy mint? Tell me again how the... Do you like being a Cookie Scout, Cookie? Yes, it's fun! But I wish we didn't have to spend so much time selling cookies, even if it's for charity! Well, that's the way the cookie crumbles, Cookie. Like I haven't heard that one before! That's a great megaphone! Thanks! I use it to shout at potential customers because I can be hard to hear! What kind of potential customers? Potential cookie buyers! more boxes of cookies to get an official Cookie Scout stunt bike. Completely tricked out with foot pegs, banana style saddle, alligator grips, and this thing in the handlebars that tells time. Wow, that sounds pretty neat. Are you a potential customer? No, I'm a spy. But I tell you what, I'll help you sell your cookies so you can get that bike. Then you won't have to yell through that megaphone anymore. Mr. Spy! Here you go! No problem. Why, I remember with... Now get selling! There's going to be a bungle in the jungle today!
interesting, but I don't think that will do me any good. It's a box of coconut curry crunches. Would you like to buy some delicious coconut curry crunches? Oh, I sure would. I love coconut curry crunches. They have the perfect mix of coconut, curry, and crunch. It's a box of honey baked beet biscuits. Would you like to buy some honey baked beet biscuits? Honey baked beet biscuits from the Cookie Scouts? The one and only. Of course I'll buy a box. They're so full of honey baked beet goodness. I can't stand it. It's a box of dill pickle drops. Would you like to buy a yummy box of dill pickle drops? They're delicious. You've got dill pickle drops? They're all so vinegary. I'll take them. Yay! <coughs> Thank you. I'm sure you and your box of dill pickly goodness will be very happy. Here you are, Cookie. I sold all the Cookie Scout cookies you gave me to sell. Hot bananas! Now I can get my very own official Cookie Scout stud bike completely tricked out with foot pegs, banana style saddle, alligator grits, and that thing on the handle that tells time! Bye, Mr. Spy! <laughs> Gee, kids are so cute. Loud, but cute. No one will misunderstand me when I use this little baby. That's my new... Ahoy out there! I need a ride out to the Pearl Farm! Would you mind? Sure, why not? Fish aren't fighting anyhow! Whoops, sorry about your megaphone there. My name's Herman. That's okay. My friend Cookie was done with it. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a secret mission to... Hop aboard. I haven't got all day.
Thanks for the boat ride, Herman. Poodle's Pearl Farm. I'm getting close to that pearl now. That was close. That looks like one of Poodle's goons. I better not let him see me. That odd duck is one of Poodle's goons. I can't let him see me. Let's just see how that malicious mallard likes Professor Quack's duck blind gadget. Duck blind, don't fail me now. I walked right past that guard. The duck blind impaired his ocular nerve center. In other words, he didn't see me. I'm in the oyster house, but look at that mountain of mollusks. I'm going to need help picking a pearl out of this pile. I don't see any place there might be pearls to detect. Quack's pearl detector will turn this mountain of mollusks into a molehill. I'll have that pearl in no time. There's no pearl over here. I'm getting warmer. I'm getting warmer. I must be getting closer to a pearl. I'm getting colder. I'm getting colder. I'm getting colder. I'm getting warmer. I'm getting colder. I must be getting closer to a pearl. I'm getting colder. I'm getting warmer. There's no pearl over here. The light is flashing madly. I must be right over a pearl. Okay, Oyster, don't be shellfish. Hand over that pearl. Hmm. Eureka! I've got the pearl Plato pushpin needs for his congeal pill. Back on Poodle's Galore's Aerosol Space Station, we find she has called a meeting with the highest muckety mucks of the cosmetic industry. Sable Keen, the top boss in blush. Mary Eyeliner, winner of the 1999 Smelly Award for the perfume You De Pew. Thank you for coming, darling. I invited you here today because together you represent the cup I mean the cream of the cosmetic world. But now, you are to become the cosmetic supplier to the stars! Oh, 
Oh, it's so nice to have those perfume posers out of my pink poodly hair. Now I can get on with cosmetic domination! How about a ride back to shore, Herman? Why not? Fish aren't biting anyway. Thanks, Herman. Thanks for the boat ride, Herman. It's the ingredient list for Pushpin's congeal pill. I still need to give Pushpin Shickle from the heart of the jungle. The aerosol particle diameter number, or APD for short, from the orbiting aerosol can itself. A prickly pear pizza. A freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake. Then I'll have found all... Hello, my name's Fox. Spy Fox. I'm on a mission to save the world. Well, good for you. My name's Pia the Donut. I'm only working here until my acting career takes off. Interesting. Well, good luck to you, Pia. Or, as they say in the biz, break a leg. Thank you. Pia, I'm in desperate need of one of your prickly pear pizzas. I'm afraid the shop was burglarized last night and you'll never guess what they took. Well, the way things are going, I guess all your prickly pears. That's right. And the only clue they left behind was a torn piece of pink cloth. But if you brought me a prickly pear, I'd be happy to make you a pizza with it. I can use this talk balloon to... What else can you tell me about prickly pears? Nothing other than that they grow in the desert. The desert, hmm? Interesting. <laughs> this spy car is a mirror. The Painted Desert. Such landscapes have inspired many artists. Hot enough for you? It's not so bad. Now, I used to work in the jungle. Now, that was hot. Hold on there, you. Only beekeepers tend to their bees can go into the prickly pear ranch. How do you know I'm not a beekeeper? If you were, you would know that all beekeepers must wear their beekeeper hats. You mean I'm not wearing it? How silly of me. I'm going to have to wear a beekeeper hat to get into the prickly pear ranch. Wow, this is quite a bee farm. It's called an apiary, honey. My name's Fox. Spy Fox. Have we met before? I think I met you at the World's Fair. Can I borrow your beekeeper hat? Why do you want to borrow my beekeeper hat? You never know when a beekeeper disguise might come in handy. Well, I don't know. I don't want to be a party to any malicious mischief. Not to worry. I'm a certified good guy spy and will use it only in the process of saving the world. Okay, if it'll help save the world. Here you go. Thanks, B. Bee's beekeeper hat fits perfectly. That guard was no match for my clever beekeeper disguise. 
It's vital to my mission to get a prickly pear. Here's a good one. Ouch! It's too bad they don't make non-prickly prickly pears. You prickly pear never! The rules state that all prickly pears are remain in the prickly pear ranch! Couldn't I keep it just this once? I really need this prickly pear. Sorry, pal. It's vital to my mission to get a prickly pear. This one should be good on pizza. Yow! I wonder if they de-prickle these before they go on the pizza. So long, maybe we'll pair up again sometime. diverted the water into this calm little reservoir. Now that the river is flowing into the reservoir, the waterfall is all dried up. I can now get the prickly pear pizza pushpin needs for the congeal pill. I wish my tux had a prickly pear pocket protector. This thing smarts. It's back over the falls for you, River. Here you are, Pia, a juicy prickly pear fresh from the desert. Can you bake me one of your special prickly pear pizzas now? Of course, I'll have that ready before you can say, Hooray for Hollywood! There you are, Mr. Fox. Freshly baked prickly pear pizza with extra simulated cheese. Mmm, yummy for your tummy. Thank you, Pia. It's just what the scientist ordered. You mean doctor? No, I actually do mean scientist. <laughs> Meanwhile, orbiting high... It's the ingredient list for Pushpin's congeal pill. I still need to give Pushpin Chickle from the heart of the jungle. The aerosol particle diameter number, or APD for short, from the orbiting aerosol can itself. A prickly pear pizza. A crazy coarse umber beauty clay sample from the bottom of the lake. Then I'll...
The Spy Mint. The This Ah, the lake. There's a big mining platform in the middle of it. That must be Poodle's beauty clay operation. Hello there. My name's Spy Fox. How's it going? I'm Wet Eddie. I'm into scuba diving. How about you? Danger, intrigue, and espionage is my game. Hmm. Do you like scuba diving, Wet Eddie? I sure do. It's almost like I was born in the water. Have you seen anything interesting here in the lake, Wet Eddie? Once when I was diving, I thought I saw a sea monster. If you saw it here, wouldn't that make it a lake monster? Oh, yeah. That's a nice scuba suit, Wet Eddie. You never know when a scuba suit might come in handy. Could I borrow it from you? Well, if you show me you have flippers, I'd be happy to lend it to you. But you have to have flippers, otherwise it's just not safe. I understand. When around water, always play it safe. What's the deal with those flippers? The deal is, I don't think the guy's coming back for them. You can have them if you bring me back my bowling shoes. Ah, the jungle. An ancient and complex ecosystem teeming with diverse life. Home to more than half of the world's plant and animal species. And it's really hot here, too. That's where I... All right, Granny, do your stuff. I wonder if those bowling shoes came from the bowling alley in town. One way to find out. Well, I won't find out that way. I need a more spy-like way of getting those shoes. My guess is whoever was wearing these doesn't need them anymore. They're not my size, but I'll hang on to them anyway. Here's a pair of bowling shoes. Can I have those flippers, sport? Yeah, okay. There isn't any water within a thousand miles of here. What do you use those for? I like to put them on and pretend I'm a duck. Uh-huh. Takes all kinds, I suppose. I found a pair of flippers. Can I use your scuba suit now, Wet Eddie? Sure, Spy Fox. You know, I was just concerned about safety and all. Of course. When it comes to water, safety first. Okay? Okay, wait. Wait, uh, I got it. You got it? So, this is Poodle's beauty clay mining rig. It's a beauty, all right.
Now I'm ready for some underwater espionage. I wonder what those markings are for. This scuba suit's a bit binding. I don't want to wander around in it. That was close. That looks like one of Poodle's goons. I'd better not let him see me. That guard was no match for sneaky spy maneuver number 37. It looks like those dials control a lock mechanism of some kind. The gate is up. This must be where Poodles gets her beauty clay, but it's too dark to see anything. I'm going to have to figure out a way to light up this joint. Here's where my notes go. I use the talk balloons to gather information. The phosphorescent compound of quack spy mint worked perfectly. The mint is lighting up the entire room, and it was very refreshing. It's the ingredient list for Pushpin's congeal pill. I still need to give Pushpin Chickle from the heart of the jungle, the aerosol particle diameter number, or APD for short, from the orbiting aerosol can itself, a prickly pear pizza, a crazy coarse umber beauty clay sample from the bottom of the lake. Then I'll have found all the ingredients to make the congeal pill to stop. A fat stack of pancakes would be good right about now. It's Poodle's Beauty Clay. That's one of the vital ingredients Pushpin needs to make the congeal pill. In the green glow of the spy mint, all the clay looks the same. Maybe this will be the right kind. I have a solid scoop of that particular beauty clay already. One scoop is all I need.
It's the mint I used to brighten up the room. It's beauty clay from the lake. It's the ingredient list for Pushpin's congeal pill. I still need to give Pushpin. It's the ingredient list for Pushpin's congealed. I'll ditch the beauty clay I have so I can dig some more. I'll try this beauty clay. I bet there is some way to distinguish which clay is which without having to guess. Here is the special clay you asked for, Pushpin. It is perfect, Mr. Spy Fox. Now all I need is Kickle from the heart. That's my... Here is the chickle, Pushpin. Ah, the chickle! Its gummy quality is vital to the congeal pill. Now all I need is... Secret Donut XY from the Donut Shop! A freshwater pearl found only in the oysters of the lake. The APD or aerosol particle diameter number from the orbiting aerosol can itself. And then I can complete the congeal pill. Here is the aerosol particle diameter number you wanted, Pushpin. Straight from the orbiting aerosol can itself. Excellent, Mr. Spyfox. Now all I I had to muscle this pearl out of a selfish shellfish. But here you are, Pushpin. What a superb pearl, Mr. Spy Fox. Now It took all of my spy abilities, but here is the secret donut X1. Thank you, Mr. Spy Fox. The glutinous quality of the secret filling is an essential ingredient of the congeal pill. That is the final ingredient. Now I can finish the congeal pill. Mr. Spy Fox, you must toss this pill directly into the aerosol inside the orbiting aerosol can. It is highly unstable, so I would not waste any time getting out of the aerosol can. Got it. Pitch the pill and ditch the can. 
You should take this with you, Spy Fox. It's a Swiss spy knife. It's got a fork and a toothpick. That will come in handy if I'm ever caught dining without utensils. It also has a pair of chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through sheer metal. I certainly don't feel pretty in this. is easily the biggest can of aerosol I've ever seen. <laughs> Poodles galore, your dog day of ozone depletion has departed. I don't think so. You weren't very good at bowling either, darling. Just who are you anyway? Fox. Spy Fox. And in the name of Spy Corps... I hereby place you under spy arrest. Not today, Foxy! I must warn you that I'm an expert in cock-a-doodle foo. Drat. That steel net will keep you out of trouble. Now to finish my cosmetic caper. Well, I've certainly gotten myself into a fine steel mesh this time. I have to get out of this steel net and get that congeal pill back. Maybe there's something in Quack's Swiss spy knife that will get me out of this fine mesh. And uh, maybe I can use the toothpick to pick my way out. Well, that leaves the chromium alloy high tensile strength wire cutters that can cut through solid steel. I hope they work. That did the trick. Now I need to get back the congeal pill. I'm glad today wasn't garbage collection day. This time I'll be super ultra sneaky when I toss this into the aerosol. This time I'll keep my actions to myself. Congeal! Pill? Oh. How do you like them apples, Poodles? You fool! The aerosol is highly unstable! The whole thing is gonna blow! I can't let Poodles get away. A crazy villain like her should be behind bars getting the best rehabilitation my tax dollars can buy.
Mrs. Carrot walks up. I've got to get out of here. Spyhawks, for your semi-spectacular deeds of daring do in destroying the orbiting aerosol can, I present you the pretty big award of reasonable merit. Thanks, Chief. Next time I'll capture that poodle's galore for sure. But right now I'm dog tired. Restart. Restart. Quit. Restart. This time, I'll keep my actions to myself. Congeal! Pill? Uh-oh. How do you like them apples, Poodles? You fool! The aerosol is highly unstable! The whole thing is gonna blow! Let Poodles get away. A crazy villain like her should be behind bars getting the best rehabilitation my tax dollars can buy. Not so fast, Poodles galore. With this impenetrable force field protecting my moon base, I'm snug as a bug and have plenty of time to devise my revenge. Let's see. There's always Operation Beauty Bark. How diabolical. A fingernail recognition device. Uh-oh, I hear a guard coming. My spy watch is beeping. I hope it's not a telemarketer. Please stand by. Come in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey Penny. Say, you look like you're in a mess. That's the super mess, Spy Fox. I'm right outside the moon base, but I can't get through the force field. I'll deactivate that force field just as soon as I can. I have to get in first, then figure out the special fingernail scanning device. Good luck, Spy Fox. We're all behind you on this one. What an interesting arrangement of lights.
The door is locked tight. I need to enter the correct code on the keypad to get in. This is the keypad that controls the door to the control room. That opened the door. I'm in there like swimwear. This is Poodle's Moon Base Control Center. I need to turn the force field off so Monkey Penny can land the super spy mess. There must be something really important in that closet. There doesn't seem to be a way to open it. There's a room with a surveillance monitor over there. Think I'll do a little sightseeing, spy style. Ow! Oh! The humanity! Oh. <laughs> Pickled potatoes! I've been pummeled by an enormous pink powder puff. What a humiliating trap! Well, there is no way to get to that surveillance monitor without pulling the plug on that powder puff first. That switch must be the off switch for Poodle's pink powder puff pummel device. Now to shut off the... 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 Puff! Whoa! Nelly! Up! You pink nightmare! I wonder how you open that closet. There doesn't seem to be any handle. Interesting, that switch didn't seem to do anything. I suppose there is a remote chance that it's a remote switch. That control panel looks like it controls the transporter on the walkway. I need to turn it off somehow. That funny little switch in the other room must have opened this closet. Those look like perfume bottles. They must really be important to keep locked up like this. And you never know when a little perfume might come in handy. Delicate yet distasteful. That perfume bottle fit perfectly. I think it turned this machine off. Ingenious! That perfume bottle was really a dyotic stopulator in disguise. That pulled the plug on Poodle's pink puff of doom. Now I can continue my mission. Oh. 
Okay, Powder Puff, give me all you've got. Ah! Heh, it was just a little powder. The Dionic Stopulator disguised as a perfume bottle did the trick. Poodle's Powder Puff is out of commission. This must be Poodle's security center. She must have surveillance cameras set up all around her moon base. buttons scroll through the different surveillance cameras Poodles has set up around her moon base. It's a close-up of Poodles Galore's fingernails. I need to paint mine exactly like hers so I can deactivate the force field. This looks like an automated thing with the This allows me to pick which color to paint my group that painted my fingernails and they look pretty. Green clovers. Now that's trend setting. It worked! Now to muzzle that poodle for good! Monkey Penny, the force field is down! Stick em! Copy that, Spy Fox. We're in there like swimwear. Hey, that's mine! Oh, never mind. What? What is going on? Oh, that chump that turned the force field off! I'm that chump, poodles! Again. This time I'll take care of you myself! I must warn you that I am an expert in cock-a-doodle poo! Not so fast, poodles! My nail! My nail! Oh, pretty big piggly wig! <gasps> Wasn't even the press on kind. I am hideous. Thanks, Monkey Penny. It really wasn't necessary. I was using the spy play possum maneuver. Sure, Spy Fox. Would you believe the limp biscuit maneuver? Mm-hmm. How about the dead fish maneuver? Mm-hmm. Here, have some hard candy. Spy Fox, for your super spectacular deeds of daring do in destroying the orbiting aerosol can and capturing that pernicious poodles galore, I present you the really big award of stupendous merit. Thanks, Chief. Now what are you going to do? I think I'll take a vacation. I'm dog tired. Any trap. He's got 